Hey guys, Fazi here. Welcome back to Dark Heroes, Goldie Lost and the Fallen Star. The last prayer wave. Let's put that back. And now we follow the signs at the bottom. Right? So upside down triangle, and the last one. We're done. A secret compartment. Aquarius ornament, huh? I know that shape. Let's go back to the fountain. It's gonna stop the water. Uh. Wait. There was another embellishment. Oh, this one. The wave ornament. And so. Oh, it never there. It drained the water. And now we have a hidden object scene inside the cage. So we're building an elegant crank. <laughs> an elegant one. Wow. Elegant Crank. You know, this better worth tons of money. <laughs> Not your dollar shop crank. This is from Saks Fifth Avenue. Come on, any more items here? Got an achievement. Is this screw? And that huge compartment. And some gears. Okay, two more pieces to go. Still don't have that screw. The tiny little screw. Oh, is it that one? And the last piece. And voila, we are done. Looks like a mailbox. Alright, it's so part of the bridge control. Right here. Yes, now I can finally follow Vala, hopefully. That will lead me to the Krausman as well. So, heading to the Bear Jaw Prison. Help! Whoa! It's me, the Royal Craftsman. Quick, get me out of here! Hmm, you're caught inside an invisible cage. Or a magical one. Okay, so now, uh, negating this rays of light is the key to releasing the crowns, man. And the symbol is my best lead to a way to do so. The symbol, uh, okay, not the bear totem, no. Even though they look similar. Need a bit of help to pry that out, use the chisel. Okay, we have a stack head. Whoa, there might be a way to get that thing out. So three bear totems. A kingdom ruled by automaton. Didn't expect this when I started my mission. Yeah, that's a surprise. All right, now the next part of the book. It's a bear totem again. Oh, plant totem. They're different ones. We still need one more. Okay, so what now? Let's look at the map. And... Things undone here at the cave waterfall. Okay, let's go back. What haven't I done? Wait, this is new. Vector should be grounded with a laurel wreath. It's a bear shield. Or a bear holding a shield. Okay, let me try chisel here. Did it work? Yes. Aha, the last totem. And now the totem's mouth opens. Laurel Reef, yes. Perfect timing. And now, there's a valve? Oh no, we activated this mechanism. Okay. We moved the trap. Yeah, it's deactivated. Now it's safe to proceed into the labyrinth. 
Whoa. Okay, this is a shield. An artifact. So we use that on the box again. The next part of the puzzle. Is it going to be the same kind? Yeah, the same one. So we have hexagons in red this time. Hmm. What does that mean? Okay, let's try this out. We're using the circle. Or moving the circle to the green spot. So open up that part. Let me try the red one now. Uh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. So the circle went back to his home. Hmm. Not exactly resetting the puzzle, but the trail is still there. Uh, I guess I have to avoid the red hexagons then. Okay, now the triangle. Square. Uh, wait, no, no, no. That one is stuck. Hmm. Hey, you know what? The triangle can now move back home. Yes. Forgot that part. Now we move the square all the way home. But the circle is going to get stuck over here. Oh, wait a minute here. Wait, 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 wait. The triangle is not home yet. Home is right here. <laughs> What was I thinking? Okay, uh, the square. Uh... I can't have him home yet, so I need a path for the circle. Now the triangle can move. Square. This is hard. Circle needs a path. Okay, let's do this. Okay, circle is done. Now, we build a path for the golden square. Uh... Oh no, I messed up. It's not going to work. I'm so close. Another triangle is stuck. I'm so close. Just one more spot. Okay, resetting the puzzle. Hmm. Let's try this again. Circle, now. We move the triangle. No square. And circle. Am I doing it right? I have no idea. Like this? Uh, 
I can bring the triangle all the way home, and now the square. Hey, I think I got it this time. Now, yeah, path for the circle, yes, yes, yes. We did it. Wow, very challenging puzzle. Whoa, that was tough. All right now, a new item. What is that? A labyrinth key. Do we use that here? At the entrance. Some magic might help here. And sounds like a task for this artifact of mine. So... Oh, we don't need that box. Okay, so now we press the sides. One, two, three... Four... Five, and... Six, yes! The way is open now. Heading into the labyrinth. So... Left... Or right? Uh, do I just take a guess? Looks like I took a wrong turn. Left. So I need the right sequence then. Left. Oh, it's wrong turn. So left and right. Whoa, we have three locked gates. And I can open them all? No. One at a time. Let's try the right gate. Okay, wrong turn. The middle one. Uh, whoa, I'm back at the entrance now. So we go left, right, and the left gate. Left, right, left. And now... Oh, you know what? I see the symbols now. <laughs> I'm supposed to follow the symbols, follow the path. Oh, stupid me. So we go right. And now the next symbol, the last one. It's the left? It looks like a mine. Whoa, finally a way out! Look at that! It's like a robot factory here. Wow. An automaton figurine. A tiny little one. The clamp won't open unless I find a proper Tommy bar. And that door is locked with a missing handle or a key. Looks like there's something on the platform. It's too high for me to reach. There must be a way to lower it. Using the lever, perhaps. Alright, we have a hidden obviously now. So, building a stone... Stones of Darkness. Sounds very evil. A Stone of Darkness. Seems like a lot of shapes. Uh, and the brown circle there. The diamond in the back. And the star. Hmm. It's a giant star. Where is it hiding? Right there at the back. So, Stones of Darkness. Oh, look at that. The bag holds something important, I bet. This is a symbol of powerful magical darkness. So now... What do we do? So, moving back to the prison. 